most people don't organize. They just make a neater mess. Hey there, I'm SD Rap. We're a brain engineer for entrepreneurs and here to help you improve your 28 thinking skills so that way you can reduce procrastination, focus on what's most important in your business and grow your business with more ease all while having a whole lot more fun. And today we are discussing how to organize in a practical, easy way so it stays that way and you don't keep on having to find yourself having to reorganize things or waste time trying to find things when it should be really easy and convenient for you to be able to find it, okay? Most people, when they organize, let's say they're organizing their desk and they open up their desk and they're like, okay, I'm gonna make these papers straighter, I'm gonna move this. And they like just make the place a little bit organized. All the pens go in here and all the papers go here and like, that's it. But it's not actually organizing it. That's literally just taking the mess and making it neater. When you are organizing something, I want you to remember this big, bold question, okay? I'm going to share with you this big, bold question of what you want to remember when you organize. And then afterwards, I'm going to share with you two ways to actually approach it when you are organized. This question, this is like the biggest takeaway I want to take away from this this video is, is this the smartest place to keep it, Okay. I'm going to share this with an example with hopefully I hope you're doing. And then afterwards, we'll go through some things that maybe you're not. Wherever I go, where I've seen so far, if I'm going to wash my hands, right near the faucet, there is hand soap. Why? Because where do we use hand soap? Right near the faucet. So that is the smartest place to keep it. I do not need hand soap in my bed. I do not need hand soap in my desk. I need hand soap while I'm at a faucet. That's why wherever you go, hopefully, whether that's a hotel or to your friend's house or to the office, hopefully there is hand soap near the faucet, right? That is the smartest place to keep it. But I have a question for you. Your keys. Your car keys, where are they kept? Do you have a smart place to keep your car keys? I want you. I don't know. In my house, there is a hook right near the door. It's a cute little hook got from some sort of store. That every time come in from outside, the keys go on the hook right near the door. Because where do we use our car? Outside, right when we're going out the door. Right when you come in, you hang the keys on the hook. Right when you leave, you the keys are right there. Guess what? Keys don't get lost that way because there is a place for them in a convenient place, in a smart place to keep it. So maybe the pl- it starts off with like, do you have a place for it? And then is this the smartest place to keep it, right? Let me ask you another question. Where do you keep pens in your drawer? In your near your in your desk. Do you use pens or you tend to do everything in your computer? If you tend to use pens like me, I'm very much paper and pen person. I like to actually be able to write things down. You want to keep it really close to you. And hopefully this one you also have, whether that's in a top drawer right near you. I don't have a top drawer like right underneath me. So it's like in the drawer, the top drawer right next to me. Whole stack of pens. Maybe it's a cup on your desk. Place where pens are kept in a convenient place right? What about knives in your house? You use knives to cut vegetables. I don't know if you do as often as me. I love salad. Are they kept near where your cutting boards are? Or do you have to walk from one side of your kitchen to the other side of your kitchen to get a cutting board and to get a knife? That I've seen too many times in other people's houses, right? Is this the smartest place to keep it? Think of when you use it, how often you use it, and where you use it. How often and where you use it really is is the two big ones. And that will help you be able to figure out what goes where. So now, going back to our question of how do we actually organize something so it stays in a practical way. Using this, is this the smartest place to keep it as our guiding light? There are two ways to approach it. The best way to approach it is to really organize the whole thing at a time. So instead of just saying, I'm organizing a shelf, you organize the whole closet. Or instead of just organizing one drawer, 
you organize the whole desk. This really gives you a big picture of where everything is. And then you could make better decisions, like more accurate decisions on what you use more often, because you're not just making your decisions based on what's in the drawer. You're making decisions based on your entire desk, right? Here's the thing. A lot of people get overwhelmed by this for one of two reasons, either because they're thinking skill of clear perception is weak, they're experiencing blurred perception, or they're thinking skill of categorizations and being able to see the big picture is weak. And don't worry, I struggled with these also. I've improved these. You can improve them too. But I'm just sharing with you why you might be struggling with it, okay? So for you, if it is a challenge for you to be able to do all of it at once, or you don't have enough time to do all of it at once, and you're like, okay, I'm just going to take 10 minutes every day to clean. Here's a second option. Before you start organizing, take a few minutes. Yes, it's worth it to take these minutes to observe everything you have in your desk or your closet, your pantry or whatever you're trying to organize. And just take a few minutes to observe and take notes. Yes, literally like take notes of the what is there? Don't like go down to every single last detail, but like the ideas and the categories of what is there and plan out what is going to go where based based on where what is this the smartest place to keep it based on how often you use it and where you use it. Is this the smartest place to keep it? And then you can go draw by draw following the plan that you've created. And then even if you don't have time to clean up your old closet and you only do one shelf today, you know what belongs on the shelf and we how to be able to do that. So I'd love for you to be able to go off this video and really go and organize something or think about how you can organize something. Is this the smartest place to keep it? And then come back to this video and let us know what you think and how it went. Just before you go, just before you go, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another episode, another video. Bye for now.